Hello fellow Chartists, welcome to my YouTube channel, I am the Chartist And today, who got trapped today? Was it the Bulls or the Bears? Spy went down a lot today, so I think the Bulls got trapped today, right? Common sense, pointing out the obvious Chartists Anyways, I mention that because it's been a very trappy week The Bulls get, got trapped, the Bears got trapped Today, obviously the Bulls got trapped, gapped up, and then just started dropping for the rest of the day Okay, that's why I recommend being a price action technical analysis trader, playing it level to level. When you're too biased to one side, you know, it, it makes you easier to manipulate, to be manipulated by the market makers. They're the real enemies. You know, they got us arguing with our fellow retail traders, but they're the real enemies. Anyways, we're looking at the flow sentiment here. As usual, pretty bearish, 78% into puts. 22% in the calls is filtered for 200k premiums or above. Now, what sticks out to me right now is this one right here 8.3 million, all right, in premium, 41 strike price, expiration date April 14th. So that's pretty aggressive. And it, you know, that's a very bearish move right there. And it came right at 4 4 p.m. at the end of the day. So somebody's pretty bearish going into next week. Alright, so that's what I got for Flow Sentiment. Recap of the day. Oh, this is my general chat. One second. This intraday where I write all my plans right here. And this was the morning plan. Yesterday I was looking for SPY to clear the key 426 to 427 zone with 429 to 430 and 434 target. And SPY ran to 429 to 430 in the pre-market went a little above that in the pre-market all right so the plan today now bulls need to hold 427 to 428 equals support as long as it holds 434 437 in play 427 fails back into the chop now there's a reason why i'm referring it to the chop which i'm going to talk about in a, in a few but pretty much the loss of 427 would have made me bearish okay um and I, and I, as you know, I write as the day go by, real-time technical analysis, and I update the group as the day go by. So that was the morning one, and um, I wrote another one, which I'm going to talk about, but let me show you the chart first. This is the 15-minute chart, okay? Remember I talked to you guys about back test and go? Well, back test and go work very well. So it opened here, all right? Opened right at 428, okay? Started dropping in pre-market. All right, and open at 428, came down to our support level, around 427. Now, this is where some people might be thinking, okay, well, we follow the Chartist's plan, then we should enter here. Correct, you're right. If you're going to buy a call or bet to the upside, you want to enter as support. However, you always got to respect your stop loss. And as you see here at the 10 o'clock candle, we lost that. That's very bearish. So if you enter the support you should have cut your loss on the close below 427. All right. I usually cut my, if it goes a dollar below um, my, where my entry is, I cut my loss. And no, I do not hope that it goes back up. And I am not scared or worried that it'll go back up and I'm going to feel dumb. I'm never going to feel dumb uh, managing my risk properly. Okay. That's the mindset we need to develop. Okay. Keyword develop. Anyways, we lost 427. And as I told my group in general chat, the safest route is to wait for the back test. Back test and go. And what happened here? Came back, back tested the 427 level as a resistant. That's how you know a level's been lost. All right? You can always buy the breakdown of a support level. It's more riskier. But the less risk, the easier, I mean not the easier, the safer route will be to wait for the back test. Instead of catching FOMO. Instead of catching FOMO, because a lot of people could have caught FOMO here and then would have been crying when it back when it went back up. But it was really just back testing. Alright, that's bearish price action and started dropping back down. Alright, lose the support. See that support get treated as a resistant and drop all the way down to the next support level that I had. Okay, I had this trend line right here starting back in March 8th. Got a couple touches here March 10th. All right, March 10th again, intraday. All right, so I was watching for a fourth touch. All right, and this is what I was talking about with the other um, analysis. 
We're consolidating for a breakout slash breakdown, okay? Bulls need to recapture to get upside going. Until then, it's chop in range. 424, then 420 below, okay? So at the loss of 427, my targets were 424 and then 420 below. So as you can see here, it came down to 424, based a little bit. We lost that trend line. We lost that 424 support level, which is the trend line. And what do we do? What do we wait for next? Exactly. We wait for the back test as I point on the arrow right here. We lost that trend line. That same trend line got back tested and treated as a resistant. And it dropped all the way down to my 420 to 421 support zone. I actually had a price target of 420 and it hit it. So, you know, as far as my technical analysis goes, it was pretty successful, pretty on point. And I really hope it, it, it was able to help the Discord members, okay? And hope that you guys are learning, you know, what to, what patterns to watch out for. Learning about backtest and go. Learning about the strategy, you know, longing at support, uh, shorting from resistant. Because when you wait for the backtest, you're shorting from resistant, okay? That goes with the strategy. Anyways, guys, let's look at the daily chart here. Now, I know I got a lot of lines like I always do, but today I'm going to keep it very simple, okay? This is what I'm going to do. We're going to do this together. I'm going to show you the pattern that I am watching right now. I'm going to make it simple. So we'll start from the, Jan the January high, and you see it connects there, okay? January high connects here, February high. Now, I'm also watching this trend line right here. Okay, it starts from the February low, connects to the March low. All right, so this is a triangle pattern that's developing here that I'm watching on the SPY. Obviously, a breakout would be above, above 438, okay? And a breakdown for next week will be below uh, 419, okay? So, obviously, a breakout is bullish. A breakdown is bearish, and you don't even have to try to guess or predict where it's going to go. All you have to do is wait for the breakout or the breakdown to happen and just go along for the ride. That's my opinion. Keep it that simple. So breakout of this triangle pattern is above, uh, I, actually it's above 439. Okay, so breakout is 439. Breakdown is 419. Okay, remember those two numbers. That is the range, all right? Between that range is just choppy. It's just choppy price action within the triangle pattern, and it's building strength, or it's consolidating, or it's coiling for the real move that's going to happen soon, okay? But now we can see the range of this choppiness, all right? This triangle pattern on the spy, all right? So, of course, I got levels. Uh, I got levels in between this chop. Okay, so 420 was a support level as mentioned earlier if 420 is lost I have some you know, obviously Let me see. Yeah, 420 is lost obviously 419 below 419 is the breakdown and below 419 I would be pretty bear, uh, bearish guys. That's a breakdown breakdowns are are pretty bullish. Uh, excuse me breakdowns are bearish Okay, now the pivot point is the 427 level above 427 we can probably see the resistant level of this triangle pattern, okay? But below 427, we'll, we'll be testing the support of this triangle pattern. All right? I hope that made sense, guys. So, I'm going to say it one more time. Above 427, we could test the resistance of this triangle pattern. All right? Breakout is at 439. Below 427, we'll be testing the support of the triangle pattern. Breakdown is at 419. We're going to keep it that simple headed into next week. Let the uh, levels to level price action guide you guys, all right? Taking a look at the VIX here. Now, I mentioned it was look it was looking bearish. We were losing some level. Today, we lost the 20-day moving average intraday. It came down test of 50% retracement level here at 28.8. .8. Bounce, strong bounce. And we came and tested the 31 uh, resistant level. That's a 38.2 retracement level. We tested it as a resistance. So... Guys, remember back test and go. We lose a support level and we back test as a resistant. That's bearish. Okay, we want to be objective about this. So right now, that's some bearish price action for the VIX. 
So for the VIX to be bullish again, it needs to get back above 31 to put 33.6, the next resistance level, in play. Below 31 is bearish, guys. All right, and then we'll see if the 20-day moving average can hold. It's currently at 30. So below 30 is also bearish. All right, a bearish VIX is a bullish spy. So just something to keep in mind. Remember, these are not predictions. These are just me acknowledging and reporting the price action objective objectively all right guys so that's the spy that's the vix looking at triple q here oops i got it out of 15 minute chart i used the 15 minute chart to execute my trades by the way anyways so you can see here it opened at that purple line that was around 334 that's our resistance level open at our resistance level and just drop for the rest of the day took out the 328 support level right here and it closed below the five day moving average again remember yesterday i mentioned the five day moving average needs to hold, okay? And it failed. So that puts the next support level of 318.4 in play. I don't think it's gonna hold, guys. All right. If three if that level fails, a big support, a big test coming over here around 306.5. That's the support level of this big bull flag that I have here. Okay, in this green trend line. All right, and we'll see if we'll get a bounce there, okay. But as of right now, I'm bearish on the triple Q VXN. It dropped below the 20-day the moving average inch a day, but recovered and closed above the 38.2 retracement level at 34. All right. That is, oops, that is a bullish sign right there. Okay. So that puts, because of that move today, that puts 38 resistance level back in play. All right. That's the 23.6 retracement level. And above that is a breakout of the triangle pattern. Bullish, obviously. And we'll put 44 in play dow jones also opened at the 23.6 retracement level that was resistant at 334 it went above it a little bit in today but just spent the rest of the day dropping down and the five day moving average is at 330.11 so technically speaking dow jones closed at 330.2 cents so yeah it, it closed a few cents below the five day moving average not a good sign that's bearish Next support is down here at 325.5. If that fails, a big test incoming on the support line of the bull flag. Okay, that's down here at 318.5. IWM is looking bearish. Finally lost the 23.6 retracement level. All right, that was the support for the last couple of days. It held up, but it closed below it today. All right, so the next support is down here around 193.5. 191 and below that is 188 okay i'll be bullish again if 197.33 is recaptured tesla it lost the 826.5 level that is bearish okay and it's coming down to test the level of this green falling wedge again all right if we lose it the next support right now is around 782 uh 7 7 780 okay so below 780 that's going to put uh, 697 in play, then uh, support of the falling wedge down here, 658.4. Okay, so watch for a bounce. But right now, I am bearish on Tesla, and I will be bullish again if, if it can recapture 826.5. Here is Bitcoin just lingering around this blue trend line right here. Try to break out, but it's looking extremely weak. I don't think it's going to go up. I'm not going to buy it. Don't fall for this trick. All right, I may look for buying opportunity if it can get back above 44.4K, uh, which is my multi-year trend line. I want to see that recapture or at least drop to 28.7K, so maybe I can look for buying opportunities down there. But until that happens, I'm just going to stay on the sideline, sidelines for Bitcoin. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys found this useful. I hope you guys had a very green and profitable week. Have a relaxing weekend. And I'll see you all Monday.